Howdy guys, uh, just wanted to do a little explanation on why I think uh, the Pacific Northwest in the west coast of the USA is going to get blasted with rain and snow this year. Most, most specifically snow because it's going to be a La Nina and that area is going to tend to have a lot more colder temperatures than warmer temperatures because of the way the La Nina is set up this year. And again, it's a triple dip La Nina, so it's going to be amplified in areas that tend to get cold from La Nina. You're basically going to see triple the amount of that, or triple the intensity, I should say. Okay, so take a look at this image on the left. Um, we have a lot of warm. The, the red and orange represents warm water. Blue represents cooler than average water temperatures. And what you see right in the mixture of those when those two merge together, you're going to get a lot of instability, a lot of winds turning and shifting, because that's essentially, that's just science 101. When you get warm air and warm temperatures mixing with cold, you get a lot of shiftiness, a lot of instableness in the air or in the water. In this case, it's going to be in the air. So we're going to look at um, our next image, which is um, the next two weeks of precip and 500 and 1000 millibar heights in the Pacific Ocean and we're going to kind of flip through this relatively quickly because we're going to get the gist of what's going on not the analytical side of it but what you're going to see is a lot of just precip and wind directions spawn up from this instability take a look at that big high pressure there in the North Pacific Ocean that's a result of the instability because you're getting those um, isobar is getting really tightly compact and that's a sign that there's instability in the atmosphere so again we have a big storm by Alaska somewhat big of a storm by um, our 129 and but overall you can see how we're getting a lot of precip along this um, where this uh, cold water is merging with the warm water I mean look at that right there where the warm and cold water meet not not where the cold water is or where the warm water is, but where they're meeting, where they're interchanging at. Um, so you can see a lot of instability is already being caused by this La Nina mix, mixing with the warm waters. It's a very contrasted type of look this year with the La Nina and the warm PDO. And the PDO is basically the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, which is in a, basically it, it's it's an oscillation of the Pacific Ocean where it, when it's really warm you tend to get you know the whole ocean of the North Pacific warm when it's cold the North Pacific is cold it's really that simple now we're just looking at the current satellite and already you can see a lot of uh, cloud cover coming into the Northwest so I think uh, just to close off with this this is going to be a constant theme in the Northwest this year this is not your winter to um, play around uh, there's going to be a big ski ski season this year for the Northwest, um, and even places going as far east as Montana, and even the Dakotas too. This is going to be a very severe ski season. This is going to be an avalanche season for places in the Rocky Mountains and the Washington State Mountains and Oregon. So I just wanted to give a brief synopsis on what's happening this year and why. Uh, I think the Pacific Northwest is in for one heck of a winter. And keep in mind, that's just one of the many areas that we'll see a pretty bad winter this year. So um, that is it for now, guys. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe for more long-range weather content. Take care.